Meekness. Is meekness a virtue? Do you really know what meekness is? Do you want to know what meekness is? Let's meditate together on this word, meekness. In today's Gospel, we'll find out the true meaning of meekness. Dear brothers and sisters, Salve Maria! Today in St. Matthew's Gospel, we have the continuation of yesterday. It's a sequence, chapter 11, 28 to 30. It's a very short Gospel, but our Lord gives us tremendous teachings. Come to me, all you who are labor and are burdened. Therefore, I will give you rest. I will give you rest. Everyone likes to rest. Who doesn't like their pillow? Did you ever try to sleep a couple of nights without a pillow? It's not that easy. But he also says, take my yoke upon you and learn from me. What is our Lord going to teach us today? How to be meek and humble of heart. And this word meekness is what I want to emphasize today. Meekness. I am meek, he says. Our Lord says, for I am meek and humble of heart. I am meek and humble of heart. What does that mean? Humility, we know that it means not to raise up beyond that which the person is. Humility is the virtue which gives the person to be exactly what they're called to be. Therefore, not want to be exalted above that which is their true role. Humility, therefore, gives us the proper position in society, the proper attitude amongst social convivium. Therefore, not to go out, not to go above, not to go lower than what that person's role is in life. Now, what is meekness? Meekness is a virtue. Meekness is a moral virtue. What does that mean? Meekness gives us the strength to be, therefore, not to be irate, not to get exalted in certain circumstances. Meekness is supported by temperance and gives us peace of soul, peace towards God, peace of soul towards our neighbor, and peace of soul with ourselves. Meekness also is supported by another virtue, which is fortitude. Therefore, gives us the strength to know how to pardon. First of all, temperance. Therefore, we don't get irate, exalted with the errors of another person. In the second degree, the second, let's say, the second aspect of meekness is know how to forgive others. Also, to be benign, to be charitable to those who err. And therefore, we have temperance, fortitude, and charity, love. That gives us a perfect attitude towards the defects, towards the debilities of others. And above all, it gives us peace of soul. Meekness is the perfect Christian virtue because our Lord says, I am meek. I am meek of heart. Isn't that so beautiful? That's what we're going to ask for today, for that grace of meekness. But he goes on to say, and you will find rest for yourselves. So at the beginning, he says, come to me because I will make you rest. I will take off your burden. What does taking off the burden mean? Our Lord, he gives us the perfect balance. Therefore, never to want something which does not belong to us. I, they didn't do what I deserved. I deserved this respect. I've deserved this reward. No, be meek. Be humble at those moments. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. To be like Christ, we have to be meek. To be like Christ, we must be humble. Let's ask for that grace, a perfect peace 
of soul. Our Lady, Queen of Peace, that means that she was the perfect imitator of Christ in his meekness, in he who is meek and humble of heart. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come upon you and remain with you forever. Salve Maria. And please don't forget to share, like, and comment.